Major support for Do the Math has been provided by Chevron, the Kern County Superintendent of Schools, Edison International, Valley Strong Credit Union, California Resources Corporation, Bakersfield West Rotary Stroop Family Foundation, Panama Buena Vista Union School District, Bakersfield City School District, Kern High School District, and AC Electric Company, with additional production assistance provided by these supporters of education in Kern County and throughout the state of California. Hi, we're here at Castle Steam Academy, home of the Knights, and we're here to... Do the I'm here at Castle, home of the Knights, and today I'm here with fifth grade aces. I am here with Evelyn. Hi. 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 Evelyn, you're in the fifth grade. Yes. What do you like about the fifth grade? Well, I kind of like all subjects, but one, two of my favorites are math and art. So. Matt, you told me art earlier, yeah. so now it's math too? <laughs> math and art. I'm glad you're on the math team. Yeah. Okay, so in um, fifth grade, you are working on powers, and yeah. earlier you told me, I love powers, yeah, right? Like all about math. All about math. Okay, I'll okay. give you the pen. We're going to enter the power of 10 that makes the expression um, equal to 90,000. Okay. So I'm going to multiply two things, right? Yeah. I'm going to multiply a power of 10 times what number? 9. So 9, nine times, times what power of 10? To the power, to 10 to the power of 4. 10 to the power of 4. Go ahead and put that in that box and let's talk about why it's 10 to the power of 4. So what number is 10 to the 4th power? 10,000. 10,000. And where do you get that from? Um, you, you were breaking it down earlier. So yeah. So ten. basically, 10 to the power of 1 is 10 times 1, um, which is 10. 10 to the power of 2 is 10 times 10, which is 100, and then so on, so on, up to 10 to the power of 4, which is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10,000. Okay, so if you take 9 times 10,000 or 9 times 10 to the power of 4, you it get 90,000. Very nice. Okay, so... Let's do another problem. So let's take 400 and 50,000 50, and let's try that. Let's write 450,000 so, with a power of 10 and equivalent expression. So we would have to write the box, then we would put 45 because that's that number right there. And then we would put times the power of the 10 that we were using, that we are using, which is 10 to the power of 5. Okay, so go ahead and let's write that out again. Well, actually, what is, hold on just a second, let's erase. What is 10 to the 5th power? Uh, 100,000. 100,000, so let's write that. Okay, so now can you multiply 45 times um, 100,000? Let's check our work. Yeah, so if we were to put that right there, yes. multiplying, then that would be 450,000. 450, okay, so let me ask you this. How many zeros do you see here? We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many zeros do you see here? I see 4. 4. So 10 to the 5th power has 5 zeros. So if I'm multiplying, I need five zeros, so put another zero there, and can you put, and then put a parenthesis right there, or a comma right there. So is this equivalent to that? Mm, well, if we're using the five zeros, then yeah, but it's not the same number. It's not the same number, right? Mm -hmm. So how can I change my power to get the same number? Well, if we have, Five zeros here, then if we went back one power, four zeros would e be equivalent to this. So I need to go back one power, four zeros, very nice. And so then if I took a zero off here and a zero off here, would that work out? Yeah. So, it'd so be let's just remultiply. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's do 10,000 now, right? 10,000. 
times 45. Times 45, which would equal this. So 450 <laughs> thousandths. How many zeros do I have here? Four. How many zeros do I have here? Four. How many zeros do I have here? Four. What's my power? Four. What's the pattern? They all equal, because the zeros is kind of like the, kind of what the power is. If you have the power of three, then it's three zeros. Power of six, it's six zeros. Any power, you're using that amount of zeros. That is super awesome, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We're back here with the knights, and I have a new knight with me. His name is Jason. Say hi, Jason. Hi. Jason, what grade are you in? Fifth. You're in the fifth grade. What do you like about fifth grade here at Castle? I, li I like the math, PE, and recess. Okay, so at Castle, you guys have this special program. Do you know what um, program I'm referring to? Do the math. That's where that's the TV show we're on. But Castle has a academy. It's what kind of academy? Do you know? Steam academy. A steam steam academy. What does steam stand for? I don't know. You don't know? The S stands for. Um, do you guys know out there? S stands for science, science. and the T is technology. technology. The E is engineering. engineering, and the A is arts. arts, which Evelyn said she liked, and the M is music. 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 So um, it's actually math. <laughs> it's actually math. It really stands for math. Do the math. Um, so this lab we're in is part of the STEAM Academy, right? It's and, science. Yeah, and so you said you like there's an art lab, there's a technology lab, there I is like all an engineering lab. So you guys all go to what the labs, right? Labs? Okay. So today we're going to continue, um, Ethan, to do some math. And in the fifth grade, I hear you know how to round. Can you round, Jason? Let's round here to the nearest hundredth. Can you talk to me about the process? How do you know what place value and where to round? How do I know what place value? Yeah. What's the, this is what place value? Well, hundred. Hundred. This hundredth or a different hundred. This hundred. Hundred with a t th at the hundred. end or no? Just hundred. And this is. Um, what place? Tens. tens ones. Ones. Tenths. Tenths, which it, with a th. And hundred. Hundredths and. Thousands. Thousands. So show me where we're going to round to. Where, what number is in the hundredth place? And how do you know how to round? So this is the number we're going to round because that's in the hundredth place. And, and what dictates where you go? What dictates? So we're just going to like pretty much like go down here. So if, if the four, if the number's like closer to 90 if it's five or more mm -hmm. then we would we, then we would pick the eight up to nine okay but since it's not five or more it goes down one. so this would be seven go ahead wait no no sorry my bad that, that stays the same that stays the same how'd you decide that that stays the same I because we're looking to see if this number right here is closer to 80 or 90, right? And so is 84 closer to 80 or is it closer to? It's closer to 80. Okay, so that's why it's going to stay the same. So go ahead. So this 8 would stay the same. So this would go right there. This and everything else you just put the same. Okay, go ahead. you got to add the decimal. Okay. So are we done? Did we round or did we write the exact same number? We wrote pretty much the exact same number. So how do I round to this place? What should be here? Wait, what do you mean what should be here? So should that oh, yeah, be? Oh uh, yeah, this, this four is supposed to go down. Okay. It goes down to 80. Okay, so make that four, what number should it be? You just raise Zero. It. Zero. Good job, so we've rounded 200. Do you know what this number says? 207, 275. And? And 584,000. Thousands. We rounded it to? 275 and 580,000. Very nice. Let's do one more. And this time, let's round to the nearest tenth. So 
So let's take 782 and 435 thousandths. If I round that to the nearest tenth, tenth. what would I be looking at? Tenth. So Which place value? This one? It's tenth with the TH. So this is tens. Oh yeah. And where's the tenth? Tenth is right here. Again. So um you get So what which one was this one up here? We did this one and it was the hundredth. Hundredth. So could that be the tenth? If oh, this yeah. is the hundredth? My bad. It's okay. okay. There you go. And then So what are we gonna look at? So you're gonna look at this and then you round the you round the ten, so like if this number is bigger than five, if it's closer to forty on no fifty, then it would it would be going up. Okay. But if it was closer to forty, it would stay the same. Okay. But so instead, that is closer to forty. Forty. Okay, go ahead. So you'd write this four. Four. Zero. Yeah. Five. So let's make a deal. When we round, if we're rounding the nearest tenth, everything after has to become a zero. So that is going to become. Oh yeah. Great rounding there, Jason. Thank you so much. So, Jezebel, how long have you been here at Castle? I think I've been here for like four years. Four years. So yep. where did you go to school at kindergarten if you didn't come to Castle? I went to Cybert. You went to Cybert. You like it here at Castle? Yeah, I love it. So when we came over, you had this case and it had a musical instrument in it. What musical instrument do you play? I play the trumpet. You play the trumpet? Yeah. What did you tell me about playing the trumpet? Is it an easy task? It's a very difficult task. <laughs> it's a very difficult task. But you have a math mind, so you're going to get through this whole trumpet thing, right? Yep. Are you going to play in the band when you get in junior high? Yep. Very exciting. Very cool. So you have a whole nother year because you're in the fifth grade, right? Yes. You have a whole nother year to practice and get better at the trumpet. Yeah. And you'll be ready for the band when you get to the seventh grade. Yep. Nice. So today we are going to continue writing decimals. Okay. So does this look pretty complicated to you or is this easy peasy? This pretty looks like What's a this is number. What is this called? Ex expanded. expanded form. So we've got this number in expanded form, and now we have to write the decimal form. So we've got 4 times 100 plus 6 times 10 plus 9 times 1 plus 7 times 1 tenth plus 2 times 100. So can you work that out for me? So let's get smaller. It's expanded, and let's take step by step and make it smaller until we get to decimal form. So can you talk me through that process? Okay, okay. so... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to like do the number. Yeah, we're going to multiply what? We're going to multiply 4 times 100, which is 400. Okay, go ahead and write that there. So 400 plus... Plus, we have a 6 times 10, which, which that would be 60. Okay. Then over here, we have 9 times 1, which is 9. Then way over here, we have 7 times 1 tenth, which is 7 tenths. 7 tenths. So you're going to write that as a fraction? No. Let's, yeah, let's put 7 in the numerator. Okay. And then 10 in the denominator. And let's keep it like that for now, because okay. you know where to go. But wait till, let's do this first. So okay. then we have plus. We have plus two times one hundred. And that's going to give us, as a fraction, yep. two in the numerator and one hundred in the denominator, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we still have a little expansion here. Yeah. How do I simplify that even more? And then we can take it to decimal form. So now what do we have? So 400 plus 60 plus 9 plus 7 tenths plus 2 hundredths mm -hmm. gives us what? It gives us... Um, it is, so 4, 6, 
Nine. So that's 400 plus 60 plus 9, 469. Yep. And, and 7, seven tenths, tenths. And 2 hundredths. Which mm -hmm. is? Which is? What number is this that you have written here? 469 and 72 hundredths. Very nice. Let's try one more. You did a great job at that. You want to do one more? Yep. Okay, you write it this time. Let's do three in parentheses, open parentheses, three, three. times 1,000 plus seven times 100 plus four times one plus three times one tenth plus five times one hundredth plus eight times one thousand one thousandth okay so let's change pins and let's work that out so what are you thinking this might be I'm thinking this might be 3,000. 3,000? 3 times 1,000 equals 3,000. Okay. 3, Plus, we have 700 over here. Okay. Plus, nine. then we have 3 times 1 tenth. So that's going to be a uh, fraction form, please. Okay. Do you want to put it in a decimal form? Mm -hmm. You can if you know how. I think I'll find my book. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we have five and one, or five hundredths. Five and one hundredths. And five then, one hundredths. way over here we have eight, and eight times one thousandths. So that would be eight. eight and then over here, thousandths. thousandths. Okay, and let's simplify that number. So I'm going to add 3,000. I'm going to warn you, you got to be careful. Okay. okay, there's okay. some place value things going on here. I want to see if you catch it, okay? okay. So we have 3,000 plus 700 plus 9 plus 3 tenths plus 5 hundredths plus 8 thousandths. So go ahead and simplify that. Okay, so we have 3,000. 3, yeah. Seven hundred. We have nine. Nine? Ninety or nine? It would be a ninety. What place value is this? This is? The thousand. Thousand. Hundred. Hundred. What place value should come next? Ten. Do we have anything in the tens place? No. So what should you put in the tens place there? A zero. A zero. Then there we go. Good catch. And then we put our decimal. And three tenths, five hundredths, and, and eight, eight thousand. And that number is, read it for me, please. 379. Well, start one more time. Third. What should you put right here? Oh, Maybe that'll comma. be helpful. So, what, what number is that? that? 3,007. 109 and 358 thousandths. So 307, 300, 3,709 and 358 thousandths. Very nice.